Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jeff Herndon. And I'm Emily Younger. The two candidates for Kansas Attorney General squared off in a debate today. We know the race is very tight. Our KSN Emerson College, The Hill Poll, revealing Chris Kobach's minimal lead of 41% to Chris Mann's 39%. Is, that is within the margin of error, while 16% remain undecided. KSN's Alexis Padilla heard each candidate's pitch today to sway those undecided voters. Alexis. Emily, Jeff, both candidates pointed to their careers and how this sets them apart. Chris Mann is a former police officer and prosecutor. Meanwhile, Chris Kobach has experience as an attorney. He also served as Secretary of State for several years. Experience matters. I'm the only one here that has been in law enforcement, has been a police officer, has been a prosecutor. That's not the same thing as defending your state's laws when they are attacked in federal court. He's never been in federal court. A packed house in Wichita Thursday as candidates for Kansas's next attorney general went head to head. Republican candidate Chris Kobach said his first priority is to defend Kansans from the Biden administration. I have experience suing the Biden administration. I've already done so uh, three times and I've already won in the, in the OSHA case. And uh, my opponent has never been in federal court before and certainly uh, is not going to take a stand against the Biden agenda. At the top of Democrat Chris Mann's list is crime and fraud. Drive down the violent crime rate. It has increased dramatically over the past decade. And we need to uh, make sure that consumer fraud uh, victims are helped. Both offering their solutions to the fentanyl crisis. Make sure that uh, there's access to fentanyl test strips to stop people from dying from fentanyl. But from there, we need to work with law enforcement, improve our investigations, improve our prosecutions. I will go to the source of the problem, and the source of the problem is cartels from Mexico bringing the fentanyl in. Because of our open border, this is, there's going to be a continuing supply, a continuing flow. Other issues discussed include immigration, court backlogs, marijuana, Brady Giglio, and more. Here for you, Alexis Padilla, KSN News 3. And both Kobach and Mann counting on independent voters to win this race. Both have support from their own parties. Our poll shows 72% of Republicans supporting Kobach, 86% of Democrats backing Mann. Right now, though, independents leaning toward Mann, but almost 32% of them remain undecided.